Alright. The three steps of urine, urine formation. AKA micturition. Too many O's. <laughs> Step one. Step one is called glomerular filtration. I'm going to go ahead and underline that so it stands out. Can you please say glomerular fil filtration? And this is where water and waste products will get pulled out of the blood. So I'm going to list all the things that get pulled out of blood. So that includes water. Amino acids get removed from the blood. Glucose. Urea, a waste product produced by cells. Uric acid, another waste product produced by cells. Creatine something your body makes that your body could use for energy creatinine which is an acid that your body makes that it does not need mostly your muscle cells will deal with creatine and creatinine ions some examples include sodium potassium um, you have some salts sodium bicarbonate chloride those kinds of things will get pulled out of your blood removed from blood and it is now in your urine pathway I'm gonna add a little note below where step one occurs so step one occurs in the glomerulus and since the glomerulus is red in our diagram I'm gonna write glomerulus Number six, all the stuff will get pulled out of the glomerulus and put into Bowman's capsule. And I'm writing that in green and writing the letter A next to Bowman's capsule. So once all this waste product and a couple of other things are pulled out of your blood, we have step two. Step two is called tubular reabsorption. Can you please say tubular reabsorption? Step two. In this step, your body realizes all the things that it just threw out, it would like to have some of it back now. So, out of all the things that your blood just tossed out, which one of these actually seemed like it would be useful to stay in your body? Yes. You actually would need water. Without water, your cells would all shrivel up. Someone mentioned glucose. Glucose provides energy. So yeah, it would be nice to keep that in your body instead of tossing it. What else seems nice to keep? Ions. You need ions in order for your neurons to do depolarization and repolarization. Remember that net logo model with the little red dot and the blue dot moving in and out of your neuron? Yeah? You need ions for that. Um, you mentioned... Amino acids. Yes. What does your body need amino acids for? To build what? Protein. Proteins and muscle. Proteins in your muscles. And one more thing. We're also going to want to keep some of the creatine because your muscles can use that for energy. So all of these things are going to be removed from your urine. 
and place back into your blood. So it'll actually form your blood plasma. Technically, it's blood plasma because blood itself is like plasma plus platelets with red and white blood cells. So all this stuff is actually plasma. Um, and that's going to occur around the um, like proximal convoluted tubule, the descending limb, and the ascending limb. So I'm going to write tubules in the diagram. It's like letters B, C, and D. And all of that stuff will go back into the blood. And the blood is in the peritubular capillaries. And in the diagram, that was number eight. And then step three, so step one, pull stuff out of blood. Step two, put some of the stuff back in the blood. Step three, pull it back out of the blood. It just how it works guys uh, sorry step three pretty much step one <laughs> tubular secretions so anything that your uh, body had put back into the blood anything that is extra so excess chemicals or even water that your body's like actually never mind we don't want this back let's let's go ahead and get rid of this will be put back into urine so step three occurs around um, the end of the nephron so again we're in the paratubular capillaries <laughs> which was number eight. And that stuff in the blood will move back into the nephron, which is around the ascending limb or the distal convoluted tubules. So I'm gonna put tubules, letter E. So your urine ends up containing like water, uric acid, urea, creatinine, some of the salts. It shouldn't contain any glucose or amino acids or proteins. What happens, or what do we call it if your urine does contain glucose? That's diabetes, right? Because for some reason there's way too much glucose in your blood, so it's gonna get released. <laughs> yep, sweet pea, there you go.